This week I have five tips to help you make the most of your autumn photography. So when autumn comes around, it can be a great time for photographers. You get the pops of the fall color, the hot days of summer are starting to pass, and there's just a little bit of that little bit of chill and excitement, and it's a really great time to get out and start, you know, photographing the colors and everything around you. So today I've got five easy tips to help you with your autumn photography. Let's go ahead and jump into those. So tip number one is don't wait for the perfect time. And it's always tempting to try to time your outing with the peak fall colors, but that can be really difficult to time. It could be that the peak colors hit and a windstorm comes along and knocks all the leaves down and you miss your opportunity. So don't try to time it perfectly. That can mean getting out early, in which case when you're out there early, even with the spots of green, the colors you do find will really pop against that background of green. So it can be still a good time to get out and photograph and make sure you don't miss things. Hopefully you'll get lucky and be able to photograph through the peak fall color and get all those awesome colors, but on the same thing as far as not trying to time it perfectly is if you miss peak, still get out there. There's going to be leaves on the ground to put into foregrounds and make some interesting compositions. There will still be some trees with leaves on them, so again, it's sort of like framing those smaller scenes up. So don't try to time your outings for autumn to be perfect. Just get out there, photograph, find those pops of color, make the most of them, and go on from there. Tip number two is try a telephoto lens. Too many times as a landscape photographer, we reach for that wide angle lens, for that grand vista, or that wide scene of things. But a telephoto lens can really let you isolate your image. So whether it be early in the autumn season when there's only a few colors popping, to past peak when some of the leaves have fallen off the trees, you can use a telephoto lens to really frame up your subject and really highlight the colors that are out there. It can also work great if you're out in suboptimal conditions during the autumn and you've only got one area that's getting good light or good shadows or something like that. So you can really isolate your subject. So get out there, try your telephoto lens, and you might be surprised with what you can do with it. Tip number three is use a polarizing filter. The polarizing filter removes glare and reflection from the leaves, which will help make their colors be deeper and more vibrant. It can really make a difference in your fall photos. So if you have a polarizing filter, give it a try for some of your autumn photography this year and see how it works. I've done other videos that go more in-depth on polarizing filters, which I'll link up here, and you can check those out. So tip number four is don't forget your white balance. A lot of times landscape photographers will forget just how big of an effect white balance can have on the photo. And for autumn photography, a lot of time a warmer white balance looks a little better. It makes everything just feel a little warmer, feel a little more like a nice cozy autumn. So you can either set that in your camera, set it to something like cloudy or shade or something like that and see how it looks. Or if you're shooting in raw, you can make adjustments in post-processing and warm things up. So sort of play with those settings, see what effect it has on your images and adjust to taste. So the fifth tip is to incorporate water into your images. And the obvious way to do this is reflections, the colorful leaves reflecting off the water. And for best results for this one, typically either early morning, late evening, keep some of the glare down off of the water and also uh, calm, uh, it tends to be more calm in the morning or the evening so there's not a lot of wind or waves or ripples across the water. It gives you a nice smooth surface and you can really get those reflections and they can look really amazing reflecting those fall colors. So that's one way to work water in. You can also find you know, lakes, ponds work for that as well as like creeks where there's a little section where the, the current isn't super strong. You can get some nice reflections off of that. And another area where water can work is in the autumn we start getting those frosty mornings, mornings with frost where things start to get covered with frost. And that could be some colorful leaves getting coated with frost. It could be objects in your foreground getting coated in frost. But that's something else that has a water variant that can help incorporate water into your autumn photography. So those are just something else that can really help make your autumn photos pop and get a little more visual interest into them, incorporating water. So that's it. That's my five tips for making your autumn photography a little better this season. So get out there, start practicing those tips, and let's see some of the photos you get. Like I said, if you found this information helpful, please be sure to hit that like button. And if you want to see future landscape photography content from me, including the little tips, tricks, mini gear reviews behind the scenes, be sure to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any landscape photography content from me in the future. And thank you for watching. Mm -hmm.